Okay, <clears throat> first of all, thank you for the invitation. Uh, what I'm going to present is uh, a little bit of future, and I, I guess uh, there are a lot of new features in this presentation, and I hope that I will be able to handle it uh, freely. So, uh, I, I would like to introduce the, uh, the new computer style, which is a three-dimensional computer but this is only for the visualization side, for the user side. Uh, this three dimension is, uh, we have many aspects that is very important for us to see the things in three dimensional environments. So naturally we are three dimensional, we are not flat. And uh, so the computers are changing today and the operation, ah, sorry, the mouse is, uh <coughs> okay, so anyway, our world are th three dimensional. And the people are thinking how to change the computers and the whole content of the computers to be three-dimensional. So many, yeah, this is virtual reality. So how to embed the virtual reality in everyday computers. Uh, usually people are talking about uh, using PPT. So now I'm trying to talk about the virtual reality in a virtual world directly. And I'm going to give this presentation in this world. Uh, first of all, uh, our goal is to provide Moxware. Moxware is a, like a anywhere, somewhere, everywhere. Moxware, like a good, besser, gösser. But uh, the end is not a lot of beer. The end is a very enjoyable world. So we say that add, add one more word to your life. I think people are going to give one more word to, to their life. Uh, we don't replace the real life, of course. We don't want to just move into the cyber life forever. We just want to extend our life. So what you see is here, Moxware, is for VR every day. That's our message is that virtual reality every day. So we would like to provide a virtual operation system, a three-dimensional operating system that will be on all computer and people are working directly in three dimension. Okay? Uh, why we are doing it? Uh, first of all, uh, there is a very big change in the world about VR. Of course, many people say that we are waiting for this changing for many, many years and nothing happens. Of course, nothing happens, but now there will be a big change. I think one of the biggest boom of ICT is approximated in, in uh, 2017. The reason is that many technological aspects reach each other uh, and the technological level is good enough to put virtual reality on all kind of devices, and we can work this virtual reality today uh, in, in these environments together. Some years ago, it was not possible. Uh, we built up a lot of virtual reality for research institutions. Uh, we used 5 million euros to connect various kind of institutions and work in the virtual world together, but that was for institutions. It was not possible to put these virtual worlds on computers and everyday simple devices. But now it's possible. The second reason is for this boom is that uh, there was no real cloud some years ago. But today the cloud is on every kind of devices, any computer, any mobile phone. The cloud is strong enough and safety enough and stable enough today. And this virtual world needs a very strong cloud supporting. So these things are ready today, so the virtual reality is ready for everyone. Okay, this is a very famous uh, curve. At, uh, uh, it was done in 2010, if you look at here. Uh, this is estimation and a prognostication about what's happened in ICT. And as you see that, usually first we go up, it's a very important hype for the product, and then some going down, and then is a consolidation phase, then it's going to the market. So if you see that there is a virtual world, it's a public virtual world. The public virtual worlds are already exist. You can go on the web and you can go to any kind of virtual world. You can, you can meet your friends, go to concert or see a movie and so on. But this is only a virtual world, which is an empty space. What will be in this empty space? All content that will be in empty space in this hype now. For example, 3D printing, uh, here uh, displays, and you can look at uh, human augmentation here, and so on. So anyway, one thing is that on one side, the content of the virtual reality is growing up now very fast. 
Other side, the public virtual words are ready for the market. So all those things, I mean, two explosions together will be this very big boom. Okay, this is a important thing here is that in Silicon Valley, there is a virtual reality, SVVR, Silicon Valley virtual reality cluster. Many participants are there, many companies. I don't want to go into details, just a very brief message. In 2014, they spent, the investors spent, 3 billion US dollar in virtual reality, and they expect 160 billion dollar uh, revenue from that. And in this year, in 2015, is already put this money in this uh, 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 cluster. So anyway, it's a very big boom. Many, many companies are running and, and doing so. Okay, uh, this is just another image that companies, the number of companies are increasing, and when they get here into the Origo, then it will be the big boom, and then say that, okay, many companies exist today, and, and they go to, uh, to the Origo, so they expect this boom very soon. Uh, we have uh, one pager for this. Uh, what we expect, what we are doing today, is we are looking for investments. Hopefully, we get enough now. And what will be that we provide this system, and if you see here in, in, in 2017, all kind of devices will use this virtual reality. This is the first three-dimensional operation systems on computers. Okay, uh, uh, many other things is that, uh, for example, uh, yeah, which we have, we have done in the previous years. In the, six, the last six years, we built up this uh, virtual reality, as I mentioned, only for research institutions. Uh, we connected various kind of research institutions. We were working together in laboratories. We were modifying in objects. For example, this guy, one of them are working in, in Germany. The other one is working in Hungary. They are building up a huge virtual laboratory, and they are moving the objects, and they are even control the objects, the robots, and so on. In 2009, when we were in Taiwan, we opened a big virtual space and the people in Taiwan were able to control industrial robots in Hungary in a normal, regular internet. Uh, for example, last year I gave my presentation in Italy in the virtual space and many universities could join us. And when we moved to a laboratory, it was a neuroscience conference, and when we moved to a laboratory, the equipment and the whole neuroscience laboratory was in Hungary and the whole control of the laboratory was in Italy, so we were working together in a virtual space. But at that time, we didn't have cloud behind, so it was not a pri private world. So that's why we, we moved to IBM. We have a contract now with IBM here. Uh, so IBM gave us a very huge uh, support about the cloud side, and now we would like to, to send out this virtual world for everyone. Of course, we have business model for B2B and B2C, but just let me skip on that one. Okay, uh, so what we can do here, uh, so this is a presentation now, but anyone can join me now. If, uh, if he has this uh, software, he can enter this space, we can talk now. This could be a university lecture. This could be actually, could be a homepage. So if a company has a homepage, then this could be like this, Anyone can go swim through the home page, try the objects, try to control the products and see what happens. But this also could be a Facebook, a three-dimensional Facebook, so people can just put their uh, pictures. Uh, if I have time, I would like to show uh, my daughter started to do the three-dimensional Facebook. And also I have some for guys who love motorcycle. So we started to build up the three-dimensional Facebook. It's very nice. People can join each other. It's not only time-driven, like a present Facebook, that you can send pictures. And uh, every day you send pictures, and the people can see that what kind of picture did you send today, and so on. But if we join in a room, we can put our objects there. We can we will be proud not only on pictures. We are proud on objects. And we want to just share. And it's not only time driven. So if I write on the wall with red color, this is extremely important. That will be on the wall all the time, every day. So uh, to use this room, to use this space to explain what we would like to do for everyone, it's uh, much more natural. For example, it's like a shopping. Uh, 
uh, in this virtual world, people think that, okay, what can I buy in virtual world? For example, this lady, I mean the virtual one, uh, 40 euros, and we have to also buy the, the, the suit for her and, and those kind of things. So buying 3D objects is very popular today. Actually, I, I'm too old for this, but the young guys buy all those 3D objects in a, in a game uh, during the 3D games. Okay, but we can buy real things as well. So whenever I'm, I'm running in a tree, uh, virtual environment, if I would like to buy something, it's called impulsive shopping. So for example, if I see, oh, this is a mouse. It's a very, this is a virtual space now. Okay, let's measure. This is a mouse. Oh, very nice. Click, I want to buy it. What can we do today? That's a very nice mouse. I go home, maybe I forget it, maybe I don't have time. If I have time, I try to go to a eBay, find a good mouse and so on. No, this is no way. Just I'm running in a 3D environment and just I want to buy. Uh, for example, we can say that uh, the same for 3D printing. So I'm looking for those companies who are doing 3D printing because this will be very important in this virtual environment. For example, this is a study room and you would like to buy some body parts or something. Actually, we do this for Audi for engineering side. So I cannot say too much for the medical side. But for example, if you say, see something in your laboratory, you want to buy it, okay, let's click on. Or we, we go together to some kind of concert. We want to have a souvenir in the virtual environment. Click, in, click on a little bit, we modify it, and immediately we can buy it. For example, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, like, uh, so if, for example, you click on the lady and immediately comes up a 3D company and they will say that, okay, I print it for you if you want. Two days you will get it. Okay, so let's see what's happening. Ah, this is uh, our group and this is a new uh, kind of photograph uh, machine. We bought it in Silicon Valley. Next year it will be extremely good. Just one click and, and you get the, the three dim uh, not three dimensional, it's a parametric uh, photo. So what's happening on the world from other companies? Uh, if the internet is good enough, I can show you that. Uh, I love two things is the, the high fidelity. The high fidelity is talk about the interconnected lives. So people can meet each other and they can talk and they can enjoy it. Very similar to Altspace VR, they say that be together. And also it's uh, very important, uh, for example, the open 3D space. The open 3D space is rather talk about how to connect the real and the virtual life. Uh, for example, uh, aha, the internet maybe not, uh, let's see. Okay, this is a very famous presentation about the single, uh, single to university, how the virtual life is running and how we will, how we, how we will work in this virtual life. And why is it a big boom? I suggest you to, to look at it on YouTube. It's a very, very good explanation. Okay, how about the other one? Uh, I also like uh, this one. It's uh, Allspace VR. So people meet there. This is a space. They can go and, and work together. Uh, they can enjoy it. Of course, you may ask what to do together in a virtual space. It's rather, let's go to drink beer and sit down together. But we are too old to understand this one. The new generation extremely loves this one. They go together for concert, watching movie, talking, putting pictures on the wall, sharing images, build up a new life. They, they love it, actually. OK, uh, when I was in a, a, a Silicon Valley, uh, I was in a pub. And I was surprised very much. One, one side of the pub was uh, this virtual world. And in this virtual world, many other pubs joined from Europe and other uh, uh, countries and continents. And then I understood something, because if you just, you want to merge a lot of pubs together. Today, it's very hard, it's use webcam, we can see the camera image of the other pub and they can see me, but this is one-to-one -one pub. If there are more than 10 pubs together, how to share these images and what to look at and how to do that? No. They have one extremely huge space, virtual space, and all the members of all pubs are meeting in this virtual space, and then, of course, drinking beer. Now I got something. It's something very, very different life. 
it's something very different that we have today. Okay, so... Uh, 15 perc vagy 20 perc? Akkor még van 5 perc, nem? Ja, jó. Csak úgy virtuális, jó. Oké, this is also the, uh, the Altspace VR uh, video. So anyway, uh, we have many, many uh, uh, virtual spaces today. This is for Oculus. It's a very nice uh, thing. Uh, I have it here, so I can show you. This is one of the big boom. If you would like to try after the presentation, I'm very happy to show you. You can fly through the spaces. We have many spaces. Maybe you know that this Oculus, uh, this is the second one. It's not the best one. You can just put it on. Why is it important? Because when we connected research institutions, we used the huge virtual rooms. I spent 130 million foreigners to build up this kind of room. Who has at home this kind of room? No one. But this is very cheap, cheaper than a TV. So you can put it on in the same, same environment, virtual environment around you. You can just go around the objects, you can put your head into the objects. It's very free, very cheap. I tried the new one in Silicon Valley. Next year will come out uh, this product. Extremely good, extremely good. I was watching a movie and I was walking up down in the movie and just look around the, the, the heroes and hear everything accordingly. Of course the movie, we can go to see movie, the 2D movie is still very important for lovers. But if you want to go to see a film, then put it on and it's 3D and extremely good. So this is a very high quality product. Uh, ah, this is also a meeting here. So anyway, uh, I hope that I, can, I could tell you something about this new life. And now you can see on the internet uh, new home sites. You can go into these home sites and, and hoppa. No, you cannot go to. Sorry, something happened. Internet, one, one internet. Okay, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if the internet stops, unfortunately, then. So, if uh, I have three minutes, if you let me to show you my daughter's uh, 3D Facebook, may I go? Okay. Ah, this is, oh, this is also a very important message here. Uh, when we started many years ago with DOS, do you remember? Started with DOS. We wrote run Windows and then we entered the Windows. Few years later, when you opened the computer, started the Windows. Whenever you wanted to use DOS, you didn't want to use DOS. But if you want to use DOS, you open a DOS window. Okay, so today virtual reality starts here, that uh, we open the windows and then we start the 3D. But what happened here? We already changed this. We start with 3D. If you want to open uh, Windows or Mac or Ubuntu or whatever, you can open in 3D. We already changed. Okay, so we start always in 3D. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, this menu is uh, the old style, but uh, maybe this one. Uh, Okay, uh, so I have two daughters, and sometimes they love each other, and then sometimes they not. So that's why they wanted to have a Facebook together. So one side, one side of the Facebook is for one of my daughter, and the other side is for the other one. Okay, and they started to put the Facebook and pictures, for example. Uh, they are very good with drawing and, and, and painting. They love to do these things and they want to put everything on, on this uh, three-dimensional homepage and make happy their friends and they can invite them and, and show what they did. And also for my other daughters, but uh, she has the completely different side in the tree. And, and uh, so they can meet there and they can enjoy it and they talk about the, the new pictures, what they did. Uh, of course, as I, one of them is upside down make sure that they have no similarity between them. Okay. So uh, this is a kind of tree, and, and they have separate rooms in this tree, so they can go inside and invite each other and talk to each other and share objects and, and so on. So anyway, uh, we have many, many rooms, and we have many, many laboratories for Audi, how to build up uh, engines. 
if you would like to see all these things, many, many rooms, so I cannot show you all these things. I'm happy to show you after the presentation and only the, the final message. This is the future and it's not so far, very close. And the university students already use it. I mean, my students, and they are very happy with that and also do the examination in 3D already. Yeah. Thank you very much. Future is always very difficult, no one sees it. Did Just in the last uh, second. Peter, did you ever discuss this thing with a psychologist? So, do you have a virtual reality replace reality? No, we don't replace. Add one more world. It's a very important message. We do not replace the real life. We just extend. Uh, it's extremely powerful if you work in this. Uh, I can show you the administration rooms. We have no time for it. We are using it really much faster work we can provide because people are using the spatial memory as well. So they know what to find and where to find. And all administrators three times faster than before. And we can share documents, videos, talking, many things. I will show you if you are in interested how to do this other administration side. And also we have ergonomists, scientists, and they measure students and, and other people, how they react in 3D, what they do in 3D, they love it or they do not love it, and so on. And what we realize that more than 95% of the, the, the students extremely love it, and they want to stay inside a 3D world and work there. And I have the same feeling. I'm working in this environment for months. I don't like 2D windows and not, not windows, I mean 2D op operation system is so linear. Uh, this is uh, something that you can really express what you want and speed up and do much more things.